You are listening to The Experts, a TPNAN production. Well, good afternoon. Thank you all for being here today. I'm Miss Hezbla. Today we have a panel of experts and um, on reigns of terror and reigns of ecstasy. And uh, today we have uh, Dr. Trush von Foot. Hi. Yes. Hi. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Fountain Springs. Oh, hello. Or is it Fountain? It's Fountain. Okay, okay. And we have Dr. Orange. Dr. Orange, thank you for yes. being here. And it's, thank you very much. It is my great pleasure and honor <laughs> <laughs> to introduce Her Royal Highness Jacqueline. Seven dollars. I'll take that out of my paycheck. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so overwhelmed, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Royal, I did not bring this panel together just to meet you. <laughs> I did not. Let's start with you, Her Royal Highness. Excellent. Very good. Yes. <laughs> Hello. How, how is your reign of terror? Going? Oh, it's going very well. Very well for me, mostly. Mm, mm, yes. Mm. Yes. I have full reign over very little, but I enjoy what I do reign on. Yes. And what 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 do you reign on? What uh, is the pinnacle? What is the foundation that allows you to be? Well, I have a foundation of multiple ants. That's my reign. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. I build castles and many, many, many communities with, with ants. They're the smartest of the creatures, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm. So you've, you've raised this ant army. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's reminiscent of nanotechnology, really. <laughs> <laughs> I just find it fascinating, you know, um, people don't really think much about ants and, but, you know, what you have been able to achieve in the terror. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And there's just so many of them as mm -hmm. well. I can have any, as many armies as I feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I must say it's, it's the 28th of December and it's just after the holidays and, and not to, uh, bogart the interview by any stretch of the imagination, but I... I have to tell you, I, I uh, have been studying ants for, for years, Your Highness. And, uh, royal to, Highness. Uh, I'm so sorry. Your Royal Highness. And there's been an exceptionally uh, uh, short supply of uh, ant farms. You used to go into uh, toy stores, independent toy stores in my neighborhood. I, and ant farms are just not available anymore. I was going to get one for my son, who's been asking now. For, mm, that's for mostly because I've, I've acquired them all. Well, I assumed oh. mm. uh, at this very moment, as a matter of mm -hmm. fact, I, I came to that assumption that you seem to have some kind of, I mean, for lack of a better word, a, a monopoly on ant farms globally? Is that... Almost. We have not fully gotten to the complete globe yet, oh, okay. but about about 65% of the globe. Well, I it's just, you know, back on track, really. Uh, just one more thing, if I may. I, my my son had a horrible Christmas because he didn't get his ant farm. So maybe Fantastic. we could have a conversation. I'm doing well, then. Well, and and I mean, I just I just think it's an honor. I mean, I've never been able been able to hold a conversation with an aunt before, and a, and a queen. Oh my. Uh. Anyway, anyway, um, I, I, I want to also introduce the mastermind that has allowed this m marvel of nature to come to be. And uh, doctor, doctor, um, th this is, this, this, uh, Her Royal Highness is your creation, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know, when I, um, I was experimenting in my lab with, with some bee genetics and, and I took the genetics and I put them into an ant and then, you know, it became a giant ant queen. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, we we named her her, her Highness Jacelli, Royal Highness. Royal Highness. My apologies, Your Highness. I seem to have created something larger than myself. Um, <laughs> she is quite tall. Very, very literally, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've also, by contrast, been shrinking. It's a part of the genetic mutation process. They take they take size from existing size, and I've lost several feet. I'm only <laughs> one foot tall. Yes, down from my uh, original five. I was wondering where that voice was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and doctor, you have been—you have yes. been—you—you you wrote that remarkable paper. I, 
I did. I mean, I think remarkable is a, a bit of an understatement. It's, I think it's changed the whole field of phrenology forever. I think everybody in this room would agree. You are mm. right, my apologies. Mm. Ah, mm. Astounding. I loved it. You're nope. the academic wind beneath our wings. Oh. Yes, exactly. Your, your work helps me sleep every night. I fall asleep reading your material every single night. Ah, yes, that's so good. Thank you for that. That must lead to some interesting dreams. Very much so. Scared me to my very core. Ah, oh, yes, fact. yes. Yes, cold showers are absolutely necessary first thing in the morning. So, thanks, Please I guess. Ex extrapolate. Uh, oh, the, yeah. the, 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 the yes, the, the, so, the, yes, the, uh, the, uh, the inspiration, the inspiration for right, this. Right, right, I, right. I, it leaves me speechless. Oh, yes. Um, it's groundbreaking. Yes, yes. So y you may recall that paragraph, paragraph seven, page, page five. Yes, yes. Uh, especially uh, Trush, may I recall? Trush, would you like to cover the contents of that? Because I feel like that part summarizes. Oh, um, it's my, it's my favorite, uh, it's yes. my favorite work. I, I orgasm during that paragraph. <laughs> Just one time. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, it Good restraint. Multiple times, you know. Personally, I, I like to play a little bit of Neil Diamond. Well, I, anyways, that's besides the point. I, uh, I've read your book many, many times. I, my favorite passage is the one that on page 132, if yes. I'm not mistaken, in the uh, 12th chapter, the very short chapters in the book, and the so paragraph that, that starts explaining in great point. detail the origins of the letter... Oh, and how it, by the end of uh, that page, it became the hula hoop. I found that rather fascinating. Of course, nobody has a hula hoop anymore. It's uh, obsolete. No, they've, been, they've become a dead toy in most countries. But for people like me, who are mature and of the 70s... Well, let me just, let me just say, I mean, there's a good reason that they have become banned, right? And you make an, a, uh, a wonderful yes. argument for that. And I, I know that the decree came down from Her Royal Highness... Jacqueline, oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Because ants cannot use a hula hoop. Yeah, it's and it, it, it is discriminatory. Curious, mm. just far, it's far too, too large. You know, far too large. The evolution of things is just so fascinating. By the way, you know that the hula hoop was just so intrinsic to uh, to rainology originally, and I love how you wrote that in to all of your interesting papers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the hula hoop is, it, we, we have to always remember the hula hoop. It's an important part of, of history. Uh, well, and, and raining, evidently. Yes, absolutely. Raining being like the core element of, of all of history. It's from the beginning to feudal societies to, to now. But yes, the, the tricky part we're trying to figure out now is, is how can we preserve hula hoops without actually having any of them remain in existence because that could lead to disastrous consequences. So that, that brings up a question. It's like, how do you define the difference between a statue of a hula hoop and an actual hula hoop? Mm. Hula hoops. Mm. The subject of my next book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A hula we statue. In, we live in dangerous times. Mm, dangerous, dangerous. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, and really, the taking down of the hula hoop, it is, it is Dr. Orange's work that inspired you to create Her Royal Highness. Isn't that right, Dr. Springs? It's, it's very true, yes. Uh, you see, I remember from, from your writings about how the hula hoop was originally how they decided who would rule over communities. So many wars were started and many people were killed with the hula hoop. Hence the name, Hula Hoop. Yes, Wait. that's... That's part of the writing. So I, that's why I went into genetics because there are many circles in genealogy, and circles are nature's hula hoop. That's fascinating. Um, mm, oh wait, mm, does that mm. should, should we make should we make circles illegal? All of them? I think it's very important that we do. Oh boy, you're going to have to change your name to Doctor Range. Oh yeah, oh, <laughs> you're correct. And you'll just be trash. They are heretic, heretic in nature. Trash. But they wait, signify they signify an infinity that just does not exist. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna deal with this problem because they're just they're they're everywhere. Wait a second, does that abolish umlauts? I think it would have to. Yeah. Are they classified as a circle? Because sometimes they're a square. If you great get down to the pixelated. Uh, mm, interesting. Uh, it's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. We could just change all of them to C's instead of O's. Yes, no, we need to break it. infinity into mm. parts so that the ants can get out of the circle. <laughs> how do you pronounce? Trush with C's instead of O's. I, I'm really quite concerned about this. Or we could just turn every O into an A. People will call me trickish. That's not good at all. Or they could oh, call you Dr. Dr. Trash. Trash. <laughs> Dr. Trash. That would be onomatopoeic in a way, no? Yes? I, I don't know about this abolishing the 
to Crash circle. Sound Excuse me, are you, you're, you're doubting my the premise? Of the well, I, I say this in the, uh, the highest respect, sir, for uh -huh. you and your title and, and the residue of all of your work. But the Earth is in fact round, so I think really it would. Oh, you're right. We have to. We have to get rid of it. Oh, doctor, no. doctor, doctor, Truth, you you must remember that you are in the presence of Her Royal Highness, and that you are bordering your thoughts. A bordering on treason at the moment. You know, he, he makes he makes a good point though. The Earth is round. How do we how do we change the shape of the Earth? Uh, Miss Hezbollah, you must understand. I'm really uh, my concern is for all of us, all of you. In that, quite frankly, uh, I, I don't want the Earth destroyed. All my stuff is here. Her Royal Highness. The splendid part of being such a royal highness is I have these m but myriad of armies, yes. So we can we can really do anything that we like. I, we could just excavate a very, very large hole on one part of the earth, and it would no longer be spherical. That's now imagine saying, saying everything... See, that's amazing, that's amazing. That's just, just, and that's why she is the, the best thing that's ever happened to you, Your you highness, that would be an astronomical hula hoop to oh. drill a hole in the earth. Oh. Oh, you're, you're correct. Oh, dear. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. but we wouldn't be burrowing all the way through. Right? It's hard to rein in the armies sometimes. It's hard It's hard to press the stop button. Mm -hmm. Can we Can we flatten the earth and make a flat earth? Yes. We will just stomp simultaneously on both sides until it's as thin as we like it. And then people will say Christopher Columbus was wrong. Well, it's about time. I wish he had been wrong. Then we wouldn't be in this mess. Although we'll still have to chip off the sides, because with a flat earth, it'll still be round. Yeah, I, I was thinking that. What if we turned it into a cube? What if we built extra? So we just built corners for it? Yes. Okay, I was That's... thinking we could slice off or we the could service slice levels. parts of it also, yeah. I don't know who has the technology yeah. to... I'm more well, into the... Arts, of course! <laughs> I, I'm more into the adding on theory than the taking away. I mean, is that, is that so? We're overpopulated as it is. But then, but then what shall we You're call very, up? Uh, well, giant condos, I think, in the four corners of the Earth, built up to a 90 degree angle. Of course, mm. they'd be mm. uh, very, very high. Excellent that cubes only have four corners. Yes, yes. Well, it's a fortunate coincidence, really. Given that it's, you know, we, we cannot create nor destroy matter or energy, really, I don't think it's really about, you know, taking away or adding. It's, it's, it's about moving. It's about moving. Mm. And ants are well known for their capacity to carry and move. And yes, they're very good orderly. at moving. They're, 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 I think they're German. They must be. They're so efficient. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> we can just build them a little plan. Well, when I, when I invented Her Royal Highness, Jekeli did make her in Germany with German tubes. German mm. tube, like sausage, or what is that? Mm. Uh, it's, a, yes. it's a glass sausage okay. that you find in a lab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they're very chewy and difficult to digest, I found, the hard way. But ants have, have been movers and shakers for long, long, long time. Dr. Orange, yes. don't you remember you wrote that paper that posited that the pyramids of Egypt were actually oh. built by ants? Yeah, oh, well, man. you know, ants, ants have been around for a long time. They've been mm -hmm. doing all sorts of building, and That's some people a think... a lovely chapter. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a pretty big... I mean, it's hard to rate my own chapters, because each one is a 10 out of 10, but I think that might be in the top 10. It's, uh, it's somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Your Highness, how much, uh, how much can you lift... Can you can you lift fifty times your weight? Oh, at a at a very minimum. Oh, you very would, minimum. Yes. Mm. It'd come in very handy if they decide to to fly with this whole corner of the Earth construction idea. I think you'd be a uh, great lead on that team. I just had a sudden realization that you know how I became quite small for making Her Majesty so big. If we enlarge the Earth on the corners, we'll all also become smaller. So it's a smaller job than maybe we think it is. Like lift, lift me up over your head. I want to show you how high we can be together. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, oh, the air is thin up here. Well, you know, so you're only an inch tall. So if we took pieces off of the earth, would we all get even larger? Unfortunately, that is the case, yes. Mm. Not the direction we're hoping to go. You're about the same size as the first G.I. Joe action figure I got back in the 70s. So. Well, speaking of human evolution, you see, I mean... Uh, the historians, uh, pre 
Corolla Hine. I had concluded that um, human evolution was uh, catapulted due to us becoming erectile, right? Uh, the homo erectileness. Yes. The change to human course of evolution. Dysfunctional for sure. Mm -hmm. But you see, Her Royal Highness has shown us that it, it, we would not be able to carry 50 times our weight if we remain erect. We must get down on all yes. six legs. Well, we must develop six legs. That was the wrong direction, basically. Humanity went in the wrong direction. And the ants have shown us that how wrong we were. Yes, also, yes. for us to get so much smarter, all the other animals in the world had to get dumber just to compensate. Mm. My, my lifting abilities, personally, they improve throughout the day. Uh, the first hour of every day, no matter what I've got on my schedule. So I'm a very busy man, travel That's around the world. probably why I've been getting weaker, weaker by the moment. Well, I can I, only lift one fiftieth of my body weight, and I'm only one foot tall. When, I, when I'm when i erect, I'm dysfunctional at lifting most things, really. Uh, you know, after my first cup of coffee. Right, quite right. The fall of evolution. Okay, um, I think we're running out of time, but uh, what I would like to go around, and if you could summarize your life's work, in just two or three sentences, what, uh, I would like to hear the synopsis of, of uh, your life's work. Right? Let's start over here with Dr. Springs, Dr. Fontan Springs. So I invented a new queen of uh, human and mankind, <laughs> and, um, and I've discovered that there's a balance of all energy forces in nature. So I'm quite small now for making someone so large, and I'm quite weak now for making someone so strong. So we must all live in perpetual states of balance and knowing that everything we do affects other people in a direct intellectual way. Thank you. Balance, balance is key and that is what allows Her Highness and all her minions to carry such great weights. It's, it's, it's an enormous sense of balance. Yes, okay, wonderful. Dr. Tush, trash, trash now, Von Foot. Well, uh, yes, trush von foot is a word I trush. can't really say that. They abolish the circle. I, uh, from now on, my name will be Trickish Vicken Foot, which is uh, trush. both strange and unusual. I like it, but I'm not so keen on the abolishing of the of the circle thing. So really, my agenda, just in the last half an hour now, has changed. And uh, I have a feeling that my career is going to take a whole new direction. I'm looking forward to having a discussion with the you, gallows! Uh, Your Highness, on uh, this whole uh, ant shortage problem. Because really, the uh, ant, you know, thousands of different species of ants on the earth, but the ant in general as a whole is the perfect species to, to study when uh, you're dealing with rainology and, you know, just raining in general. When it rains, the ants can't be found. And it, it's all relative. Oh, sure. Kiss up now, now that your head was about to be chopped off. Well, sure. I, uh, ants, I have a thing for ants. Are you buying this, Her Royal Highness? Absolutely not. It's all right. We'll, we'll get to him. I try to make the world less erect every day, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and my next project might be Dr. Von, mm -hmm, von mm -hmm. Foot. Because yes. he said some very Magic treasonous things, and I don't Foot. believe that... Yeah, well, after the show, we'll have a special for the execution of Dr. Trush Von Foot. I, I'm like the month of April. I, I do get warmer, eventually. It's a very weak defense. I wish I understood what that meant. I, I, I would just, I would like to use the space to, uh, you know, I, I can't summarize a, a career like mine in a few sentences. Obviously, that's an insult, but I would like to just use this space to move forward and promote my new book, which is called Ants. Are they, in fact, just three circles? In which I discuss the possibility that we should, in fact, make ants entirely illegal. <laughs> Treason! <laughs> Off with their heads! Uh, we die together, Dr. Range. On our next episode, executions. I don't think we heard for Royal Majesty. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I mean, my job is just so complex. But yes, no, every every day I try to make everything just a little bit less erect. And I think I'm very much succeeding with the thanks okay. of my many tiny spherical armies. My wife hates you. This was a very informative interview. Thank you very much, Ms. Hezbollah, for bringing us together to talk about rainology. Join us again next time. Next week on The Experts. We threw in a little bit of torture for the audience's entertainment. Famous last words, Dr. Orange. Oh God, the ants, they're everywhere. <laughs> Dr. Von Trush. You bet.
We have two less treasonous bastards on this. Not round Earth. <laughs>